So recently, I have actually been getting into art, and what I mean by that, I've been like drawing, and I bought my own sketchbook, this like fancy, really fancy sketchbook that has a lot of paper in it. So the reason why I started drawing is um, because I don't know, like I just like it, and uh, and I've always been a very like visual person. I've always admired very visual things and how people can um, create these things, especially digital paintings. I really like digital paintings, but I don't really have the money to buy like um, Photoshop, which I really want, but I just don't have the money. Um, I mean, I have the money, but like I can't just spend it nilly willy, you know? <laughs> I've always been like a Pinterest user and Tumblr also. Um, I've always followed like fantasy art, digital art on Tumblr. I mean, I've always been a writer, but I've always appreciated very aesthetically pleasing things. And uh, I realized with the struggle of writing nowadays, because like I always have a hard time writing. Not like journal writing, because I still journal, but just like fictional writing. I can't do it. Like it's just, it's not fun for me anymore. And I just realized that there's just some things that you can't describe with words. And, uh, yeah. And I've always enjoyed manga and comics and all that. So, um, I figured I would just start drawing. And, uh, yeah. And right now, I'm trying to learn how to draw anime eyes. Particularly for females. And then I need to learn how to draw males, too. Because I have a really hard time drawing male people. Like, I, I have a hard time drawing guys. I always make them look too feminine and I'm like, I'm sorry. So there's a few graphic novels slash manga that I've been reading recently. The first book is actually a book that I finished recently and that is Saints by Jean Nguyen Yang. And this is based on the Boxers Rebellion and I don't really know too much about it but I kind of get a hint of what it was through uh, Boxers, which is like the first half of this, and then Saints, which is like this second half of it. And uh, it's really interesting. I don't want to spoil anything, so I would recommend just picking it up. Then the next one is one that I read a little bit of, and it's Hopeless Savages, and it's by like a bunch of people. I don't know if that's like all the authors or not, but I don't know. But, uh, yeah. I don't know if this is like a collaborative comic at all. I don't know. It says book one, so I don't know. But the basic gist that I got from this uh, so far is that it's about this girl who wants to be a rock star, but her parents want her to be like a film director person and make films. And from what I read, I believe she starts to make her own film about being a rock star. Uh, so, I think that's what it's about. Like, I don't know. And the next one I started reading, I'm almost actually done with it, is Helsing Volume 1. And um, it's actually pretty good. And the only times that I've heard or seen about this anime is like those like top 10 gory scenes from anime and Helsing would be in it. When I was younger I didn't typically go for uh, older manga because I just didn't like the art style. I thought it was blah. I thought it was like but I didn't like the art style. Um, one of the main things that drove me to read manga was the art style if I found it aesthetically pleasing and that's still something that I look for in a manga but not as much anymore because um, there's a lot of new anime that comes out like Sword Out Online. I mean that's not like new new but you know. Um, and Orange and there's just been a lot of like animes that I haven't been really interested in watching. Um, the last one I watched fully was Yuri on Ice and I loved Yuri on Ice and I love it. It's Yuri Plutsky is my favorite <laughs> but yeah. Uh, so yeah this is really good so far from what I've read. Another manga that I picked up, I didn't start this yet and I actually don't really know a whole lot about this. I just heard the name but and that's Cowboy Bebop and from the back I kind of get a sense that this is like a sci-fi kind of feel like a, like 
like technology and stuff like i don't know and the guy on here kind of looks like the dude from psychopaths and then i picked up this like graphic novel version of the odyssey based on homer's epic poem the odyssey and uh yeah and it actually includes some of the actual like poem in here as the dialogue and i mean the art is really pretty to look at and uh yeah, it's just really interesting, and, uh, I don't know, like, graphic novels, for me, kind of, like, paint the story better for me. I mean, obviously, because you can, you know, see it, but I just realized that my love for graphic novels and manga and stuff has, like, increased by, like, a lot, <laughs> and I'm tired, I'm sore, I have to go to bed early, because uh, I have to get up at, like, super early tomorrow, at, like, super early. I have to get up early for the next couple of days, and I'm not looking forward to it at all. Like, I'm sick slightly, and you can- I can feel it when I walk. Like, there's this giant hill that I have to walk up, and- uh, excuse me. And I can feel the sickness in me when I walk up it, because my body is just like, what are you doing? Stop. Like, you need to stop this exercise. You need to stop. Like, my body was just like not having it, so. But I continued, you know, going up anyway because I had to. So until next time, I make a video. Bye bye.